Hello students, welcome to English Guru Campus new video. Uh, so in this video, we are going to discuss five common mistakes that we always make while writing, while speaking, and almost it has become a common, you know, kind of uh, accepted mistakes uh, in China, India. So anyway, let's look at those uh, five common errors that we always make. Uh, before going to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get more interesting videos like this. Uh, let's learn English together and please enable the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our videos. On to the video. So anyway, I'll make it more simple uh, to you. Like, you know, uh, I have written five sentences here and you you guys already know that, you know, we, we learn English in a different manner. We always uh, have a, have a kind of different approach towards learning English. So this is our new, uh, method that we always like, you know, since 2016, uh, you, you guys have already watched my videos explaining all these things, right? Uh, learn from the mistakes. So it is always better to write down the mistakes that we do and thereby, you know, start correcting yourselves. That is a good idea. And that's a psychology uh, that would benefit us, you know, in, 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 in uh, helping us to uh, correct ourselves. So let's go to learn from mistakes and i have written five mistakes here when we see these sentences at first glance we'll think like you know there is nothing wrong about this right so here we we'll look at the, uh, all the sentences each sentence is okay the first sentence is that i have three children's i have three children's you know yeah it kind of sounding great what's wrong with it it's okay right I have three children's no actually you know there is no word like children's no word like that okay children's it is children okay children children I have three children I have four children I have five children whatever it is and what is the singular of this child okay don't write child's Okay, not not child, childs. It is children. Okay, I have three children. Okay, so if we are making this mistake, yes. Now we'll be careful. Okay, moving on to the next one. Peoples are very nice here. It is kind of I must say that you know it, it kind of in an Indian mistake. You know I I have traveled most of the places in India and I have come across many people who always tell this, but you know since it is accepted we cannot say that yeah you are making a mistake we cannot say that but it is a mistake so let's learn it okay so peoples are very nice here peoples are very nice here so when we see uh, when we uh, say the word like you know peoples it kind of give us a satisfaction that is the main factor you know when we say peoples you know it's kind of satisfying right like children's 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 yeah it is we are getting we are getting a feeling like you know yeah it is a plural word okay the, if there is no s then we have a mentality like that is that a plural it does not sound like a plural right anyway it is a plural okay so so in this word we'll erase this s okay people people we have to repeat it okay people 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 then we'll create a mentality that you know we'll not uh, misspell the word like peoples okay actually people mean many persons okay many persons a group of you know individuals as i might say okay people are very nice here so people means it's plural okay then third one it have many advantages it have many advantages actually you know in, in american english it is accepted if you say that it have, you might have uh, gone through the videos of Donald Trump, uh, Joe Biden or uh, Barack Obama. You might have seen or heard those people uh, kind of saying this. But in British English, it is not acceptable that if you say it have, it is wrong. Okay. We have to say it has, has, it has got many advantages. It has got many advantages. Okay. It has, it has has so it is another kind of you know common mistake okay uh, moving on to the fourth one i saw many fishes you know most of the people don't know that there is no word like fishes you know fish one fish two fish it's not two fishes you know 
uh, we already discussed like you know we already mentioned that we have a mentality like you know when we create a plural for any word we always have a mentality to uh, you know kind of adding an s with that word so that is not recommended here actually you know it would go wrong so you're not supposed to write s here you have to say i saw many fish many fish okay but if you say that you know you you have uh, seen many kind of you know types of fishes then you can say types of fishes okay types of fishes that word should be there okay just we can understand like that okay as it is then i saw many fish okay then fifth one women's are good at learning maths i have seen most of my ielts candidates you know when i uh, tell them to write an essay on uh, women men kind of equality kind of essay then they always end up writing like you know women's women's or men's like that okay so actually you know man becomes men woman become women women okay uh, it's pronunciation also women okay woman women woman women okay man men man men it's not mans or mens or women's okay but yes i i i understand like you know you have come across kind of uh, some shops you know mens gallery mens gallery or mens apparel like that so actually you know that is it is kind of uh, apostrophe s it shows a possession towards you know, it is of men okay it's of men and that's why it is apostrophe s okay men then it is yes men's gallery then it is correct but if you say that you know uh, you are denoting like uh, a group of uh, sex then it is only men okay or women okay so anyway these are the five common mistakes that we always make in our daily life and you know by the uh, this kind of approach like we write the wrong uh, sentences or the mistakes that we make in our daily life english conversation then it is always beneficial for us to remember and not to forget these correct phrases or words and that would give us confidence while speaking in english okay so i hope this video helped you understand some of the mistakes that we make okay so that's it and i'll see you in the next video bye